going to be making here some collard greens pasta today. You can see I'm using a rigatoni pasta. You can use any pasta you want. We've got tomatoes. We've got garlic, a few olives in there, a little bit of chili. It's absolutely delicious. Vegetarian, vegan. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. So I've got about two tablespoons of garlic there, maybe one and a half actually. Two cups of onion sliced and then my collard greens there. So I don't know what that is. Maybe is that 10 or 12? cups of collards not sure but you know quite a substantial amount let's get moving on this one so you are going to need a large sort of pan for this in there i've got some olive oil maybe three or four tablespoons you can use a different oil if you want in goes the two cups of onion the one and a half to two of garlic now i've just put the heat on it's on a medium we're going to add some salt we're going to add some black pepper and we're gonna drop in all of our collards here. Sorry, I can't be more precise, but I think it's you know, maybe 10 or 12 cups. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, don't have the heat up too high. Medium heat, we're gonna go for about six minutes or so. That's gonna really reduce down. Okay, so you can see that that's cooking down really nicely. And like I said, don't have it up too high. You'll just sort of burn it. We all kinda wanna cook it. It's a fairly robust leaf collard greens are. Okay, let's go. So we're going to go two teaspoons of sweet paprika and oregano. Optional. I'm going with some black olives. They're a nice calamata. Delicious they are. And again, optional. I've got a couple of large green chilies. They're not super hot, but they are tasty and they will give a little kind of kick to it. Now we're going to add two cans of tomatoes. These were a whole plum tomato, just sort of mushed them up a little bit roughly with my hand. When I say a regular can, I mean that, a 400 ml kind of, you know, standard can. So two of those in there. Stay on the medium heat, we're going to go for about another six or seven minutes. Nearly done. Okay, that's a wonderful, wonderful sauce. I love that one. Okay, pasta time. So I'm using rigatoni today. I've got here about five cups of cooked rigatoni, but when I say it's cooked, it's slightly under, just slightly. It's got a, you know, a little bit of a give, you know, giving it, not too much. So our dente, as they say. And that's because we're gonna be cooking this pasta in here for another five or six minutes. Really wanna kind of get it involved, get that sauce in, on and around. And then that's it, job done. I'll see you at the table, beautiful stuff. So with the pasta there, me putting it in just slightly al dente, that's just completely my choice. You could obviously be using a different pasta, for example, spaghetti, tagliatelle, farfalle, penne, up to you, and put it in however you like and just give it a quick mix. I just like to kind of cook it in there a little bit more, but that is really delicious. I hope you enjoy that. You keep safe, you keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much for stopping by and making it to the end of the videos. If you would like to donate to me, there's a thanks button in most countries. You can give me $2 or up to $50. I need to buy a new Ferrari. Come on, help me out.